Hello, my name is Felipe, and if you're a music producer, this video is for you. Today I want to give you a quick recording tip that will allow you to sequence and get your productions done a lot faster and to maximize your time. Have you ever been in a situation where you're traveling or maybe you're at work and all you have is your laptop and your iPad, but you don't have a decent MIDI controller where you can get your work done? I have been in that situation and for that reason, I wanna show you a way that you can use your iPad to send your MIDI data into your audio recording softwares. For this tutorial, all you need is your iPad, your computer, a recording software like Ableton Live or Logic, your iPad with the DreamFoot app and the MIDI meter app and I'll show you how you can send all your chords and all your melodies into your recording software by just using your iPad. Today I'm going to do the song Forever by Kerry Joe, and we'll just work on the intro just to show you how you can quickly get some of these things sequenced into your recording software. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. So before you start, just make sure that you download the DreamFoot app the MIDI meter app into your iPad and download the MIDI meter app for your computer. Next, grab your iPad, your charging cable and plug the charging cable from your iPad into the computer and that's going to be the cable that will allow you to send MIDI data from DreamFoot into the recording software. So the first thing we're going to do now that our iPad is connected to the computer is to record a drum pad. We're in the key of G, and all it's gonna be, it's a G and a D that's going to sustain. I'm using an Omnisphere patch running through a Valhalla shimmer, so this is gonna be a simple pad that's just going to sustain throughout the song. So let's do that. Now that we recorded our pads, let's go into the DreamFit song mode and we're going to record a simple piano, just the chords of the song, just to have a little bit of more texture going on. And I'm going to use a piano from Ableton Live from the instrument pack. I'm going to use another reverb that has a lot of decay that almost makes the tail of the piano sound like a pad. And I'm adding a Valhalla shimmer softly in the back just to add a little bit more shimmer to the sound. So let's go really quick and record those chords. Now that we have built a strong foundation for the song by having a pad and a strong piano in the background, we want to add the final touch, which is the melody that we've all known that makes forever a song that has lasted forever, which is that beautiful melody that's on top of the piano. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use an upright piano from Ableton Live with a simple delay and a little bit of reverb at the end of the tail. And this piano is going to be a little bit more compressed as well. So it's going to have a little bit of more punch while we're recording it. All I'm doing is I'm going back to the DreamFoot Jam mode and I have programmed these octave notes that let me make that sound a little thicker and it's not just a single note playing through it. So let's go and do that final part.
Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was helpful to you. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, remember to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and just for this weekend, our app, our DreamFood app, will be on sale for Easter. It will be only $9.99 between Friday and Sunday. So I hope you get it. I hope it's a blessing to you, to your church, or maybe it's just great for you to get your productions done and just find a new way to get things moving a little faster. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you on the next tutorial.